Hello and welcome to TA for Traders. It's Wednesday the 20th of September and I'm Nigel Croft. In this short video we'll be looking at the charts of the British pound against the US dollar. Now since we had the surprise from the Bank of England rate setting committee last week that they may imminently increase interest rates, the pound has been strong. However, it did go overbought. Let's look what the charts look like at the present time. So here we have the daily on um, the British pound and you can see the strength that we've had um, recently. We had a golden cross as well on the 20 and the 50. Uh, that was on the 15th, uh, which bodes well. And um, we have uh, had further progress to the upside since then. However, we did become overbought. The RSI reached um, 75 and we became overextended away from the moving averages. So there's no surprise that we did have a, we have had a consolidation for a couple, two, three days now. Uh, what's going to happen going forward? Uh, I would expect this consolidation to continue. Uh, let the moving averages catch up. Um, we didn't have a non-confirmation on the RSI. That was good. Um, it's also good it's in an uptrend. That will probably just keep edging along at these high levels. Um, it was good in that the high on the RSI tallied with the high on the, uh, on the pound. So uh, that was all positive. And likewise, the MACD becoming overextended the differential between the short and the long. Uh, so expect that to narrow somewhat. But again, they are indicative of, of good upside momentum. On the weekly... Um, again, we, we became overextended away from the 20 week moving average. I mean, on this, you can see that the next resistance level starts at 140 and goes up to 147. This band of resistance that we saw in um, March and April 2016. Um, so it, I would expect us to get up there. Um, on this rally after a consolidation, um, but then it, the, the going will get difficult when we're above the when we're into the 140s. RSI again very positive, uh, 65.42. But again, look at it on this weekly. It was only as high as this back in um, where were we? Um, June 2014, when the uh, pound was at you know the 170 levels. So um, and, had, and it obviously had a good run uh, for a few months then. Um, so we are getting overbought, uh, but the MACD still saying that things are OK. On the four hour here, we're finding immediate support from the 24 hour moving average as it tracks upwards, which is good. Um, that should be the first level of support and it has held. Um, if that fails, below there we've got the 54 hour uh, as the next level of support. And you can see that uh, perhaps we're getting some slight resistance levels just at the uh, 136.15 level. Okay, looking at the support and resistance uh, points, um, we've got a resistance at 136.19. Um, that is from the 18th of September. Um, then at 140 uh, from April uh, with support at 133.61 uh, that's the 50 from the 4 hour with support at 131.42 uh, that is the 20 day so thank you for watching this TA for traders uh, please do remember these videos are in for information only and not an investment recommendation the key takeaways to um, to note from this video on the pound are that um, it's become uh, overbought and uh, there's been a consolidation which should be no surprise um, next resistance on the weekly at 140 and there's been no non uh, non confirms on the RSI which is good um, so they're still showing positive momentum and no negative signs there. 
Thanks for watching and please do read the disclaimer.